payloads are attached to special pallets which are slightly different from the bed. We've launched and carried the dreams of a nation. At Kennedy Space Center, we are focused on flying the remaining space shuttle missions safely and completing construction of the International Space Station. More than four decades ago, we launched humans to the moon from this very spaceport. Today, as part of the Constellation program, NASA is preparing once again to leave low Earth orbit as we chart a new course to the moon and beyond. Kennedy also is home. See the orbiter. So sometime on the middle of third shift, after midnight, the doors will open and we will start the three mile trip out to pad A or pad B, either one of our twin pads that's capable of supporting a space shuttle launch. It takes about eight hours to get out to the pad. Uh, once there, the mobile launch platform is set down on its mating stool. We're around 460 to 485 feet up in the air on our, on our crane rail. The building is roughly 525 feet, so we're just we're right up in the, the top of the rafters. The orbiter spends about one week in the vehicle assembly building. After that one week, we're ready to carry the vehicle out to the pad. And you've got the shuttle located to the left of it here, right? You can see our American flag. Dark blue box at the base, the flag to the right of it is NASA's countdown clock. If you look straight ahead, you can see the three blinking towers. This is the launch pad they're converting for Ares. Over to the right of the tent, you can see 39A. That's the launch complex the shuttle's launched from.
just over there will be launched on November the when? 16th. 16th, well they're bad. And that one where Tom?
are safer to the earth. I know. I'm Jim Lovell, and I was one of the crew of this spacecraft, Apollo 8. We were the first men to see the surface of the moon from just a few miles away. But it was the hundreds of thousands of men and women who worked in that team, and the millions of people who supported the mission that really made it possible. That way, I guess, we all went to the moon. Now, on the other side of those doors, you'll find an actual Saturn V moon rocket. It's still the most powerful, the most complex machine ever built. And I guess it's the only one that can take you to another planet. I actually got to fly one on a second flight of the moon called uh, Apollo 13. But uh, that's another story. Yeah. 